In many of the examples we have met so far, we have read the contents of a text box and stored this value in a numeric variable. In the hours and minutes example in lesson 5, we read the contents of the text boxes txt hours and txt minutes and stored them in integer variables hours and minutes respectively. In this lesson we will look briefly at some of the issues that can arise when we do this and how we might go about resolving them. Let's suppose we have a text box txt number from which we want to read and store an integer value and then display it in a list box LST out. Up to now the code we might write to do this would probably be as follows. We would begin by declaring an integer variable, in this case num, then we store the contents of the text box txt number in the variable and finally we display the contents of the variable num in the list box. Now let's run the program with a number of different inputs and check and see if it works as we intended. We begin by trying an integer value as requested, say 15. And when we click on the button, the value is read from the text box and displayed in the list box. Now let's try an, a non-integer value, such as 12.7. This time what appears to have happened is that the value in the text box was read and although not an integer, it was rounded to the nearest integer value, 13 in this case, and stored in num, and then displayed in the list box. This may not be exactly what we intended, but at least our program continues to work, even if the number entered is not an integer. Finally, we'll try a value which is not numeric. For example, the string today. In this case, however, an error is generated. And we'll see that the line of code which generated the error is highlighted. And the error message reads, conversion from string today to type integer is not valid. In other words, VB attempted to convert the string today to an integer value, but failed, and hence the error. Let's think about what happens when we try to store the contents of a text box in a variable. Remember, the contents of a text box is a string. And in this case, we, what we are attempting to do is store this string in an integer variable. What actually happens is that VB converts data types based on its best guess of what we want to do. So if we enter 15 in the text box, VB is able to convert the string containing the numeric characters 1 and 5 to an integer value of 15 which can be stored in num. If we enter 12.7 this is also a string but it's made up of numeric characters so VB performs a conversion rounding the value to 13 and then storing 13 in num. However, if we enter a conventional string, or one not consisting only of numeric characters, such as today, VB is unable to make the conversion and it generates an error. So, the program we have written will not work as intended if the user enters a value which cannot be converted to an integer. The issue then is to find a way of detecting when the input is not an integer and dealing with this situation. One way of handling such situations is to use the tripars method of the integer data type as follows. The integer.tripars method is used to convert a string into an integer value 
and store it in a variable. The method takes two arguments or inputs. The first of these is the string we wish to convert. In this case, txt number dot text. The second input is the name of the integer variable where we wish to store the converted value. In this case, num. If the conversion succeeds, the converted value will be stored in num. If it does not succeed, then zero will be stored in num. Let's try our program again now that we have used the tripars method. We begin again with an integer value and we see that the string is converted successfully as it was before. Now we'll try 12.7 as our input. This time the contents of the text box although consisting of numeric characters, is not an integer. So the tripars cannot do the conversion and this results in zero being stored in num. Finally we try our string today and again we see that this also results in zero being stored in num as the tripars method cannot do the conversion to an integer data type. The advantage of using the tripars is that now a non-numeric input will not be generating an error as it did previously. So now we know that if the contents of the text box cannot be converted to an integer, then the value 0 will be stored in the variable num. What would happen if we actually entered the value 0 in the text box? we can see that this also results in zero being stored in num. But then this raises an issue for us. How would our program distinguish between entering an integer value zero and storing it in num and entering a non-integer value and having tripars store zero in num because the conversion failed? It turns out that the tripars method apart from storing a value in the variable num, also returns a value of true or false to indicate if the conversion was successful or not. If the conversion is successful, the value true is returned. If not, the value false is returned. 